Okay, here's my follow-up review. Uh, I've used the water block for a few days. Now, of course, Arctic Silver 5 requires like 200 hours of cure time. I haven't done that yet, so there'll probably be a little bit of a difference due to that. And also, I've been getting a lot of people talking about how they think I should have done the line method uh, to put Arctic Silver 5 on the CPU. I've went to Arctic Silver 5's website and that's what they do recommend so I'm actually going to do a follow up where I put the paste on there in that method. Uh, I've used the current method that you've seen on my vi uh, video for several years and I think I've got good results but I'm not, I'll try anything and see what it looks like and maybe there is a better way. Uh, what I've done here is the computer's been idling for about the same time, about an hour and 15 minutes, uh, as compared to the old water block. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the temperatures on it. The CPU's showing 41 degrees C, which I think is one degree cooler than what the CPU 350 was showing at roughly the same time. Uh, I have the 980X clocked at the same amount and there's a bunch of that information if you can pull anything from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Prime 95 for three minutes like I did and we will compare the load temperatures and see if they are the same. Okay, I got it running, and I got my uh, stopwatch set. It's going now. And we will okay, see. We're coming up on three minutes now. I kind of fell asleep at the switch there. The current temperature is 50 C, so I think it's three degrees, maybe cooler, than what it was showing with my previous block. 12 threads still running. Uh, I will say this though, the power draw is the same. This room is slightly cooler I think than what it was the other day. I think it was two degrees difference. So even if we add that in, I, I left it running out just went to 51C. Let me go ahead and stop this. Okay, so I think we can see by the results that it is performing better than my previous block. And again, we're talking about a couple degrees. Uh, I think one of the main things I is it looks better. I really like the look of it. Let me turn some lights out here. Yeah, it's real shiny. And I know some people, performance is everything, but you know, I like performance. But I also like it to look good as well. So, again, I think it's probably three degrees better than what I've seen with my previous block. So, I think well, that's a good thing. There you have my uh, finishing of the review of the CPU 360 from Cool Amps. Uh, turns out to be about three or four degrees cooler than the CPU 350 that I had. Is it, is it worth the expense for me? Yes. Uh, I'm going to be using the CPU 350 on my son's computer and I like the looks of this one better and it does have better performance. Now the room that I'm in is a little bit cooler than it was the other day so I think that has something to do with it but I still think it's an improvement. Now I've gotten a lot of replies on how I put my thermal grease on my CPU and I've been doing it that way for years. A couple years ago I did it with just the dab method and I didn't get good results from it as well. I did go to Arctic Silver's 5 website and looked at what they had they recommend the line, the vertical line for the application of the Arctic Silver 5. And you know what, I think I'm going to try that. I'm up to trying new things. If I can get better performance, that's fine. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the vertical line method, uh, put it on there, and probably do another review and look at my temperatures. So thank you for watching. I think the Coolant CPU 360, 360 is a definite buy.